Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through and show you how to add QEMU images to your EVNG Community Edition for a wide range of vendors like Aruba, Arista, Cisco, Linux, Palo Alto, Juniper, and much more. If you're looking to build a powerful multi-vendor lab, stick around because I'll walk you through each step using WinSCP to make sure the process is quick and easy. So let's get into our video and start to see how we can import these images into our EVNG Community Edition. I put some steps here. All this stuff I will make sure I put into your description. So don't forget to check your description. And also, I'll give you the links where you can download some of these images that I'm showing you here. Let's look at some of the prerequisites that you need. Obviously, you need an EVNG Community Edition up and running on your VMware. You need the IP address and the credentials for your EVNG, so where should I log in? Use WinSCP installed on your local PC. And obviously, as I said, you need the QEMU images for all these prerequisites. If you're not sure how to get this done, the previous videos have covered all of them from scratch. So make sure you can check them out in case you landed up on this one first somehow. And with the prerequisites that we have for this video, the first of all was about having an EVNG community edition up and running, which is going to look like this. So you already have it installed. And I also have the IP address where I can log in. If you look at this, it's it says 192.168.136.130. That's how I log in. You need to have Win SCP, which I've already installed. I'm going to quickly log in. I'm going to do this one here, which is the IP address of my setup. It's going to ask me for the password. And again, if I'm running everything standard, it is root and the password is EVE. You hit OK, you're in there. If you notice that first thing I need to understand is right side is my EVNG Community Edition setup. Left side is just a folder on my desktop with all the images that I put there. If you notice that we only have Fortinet right now. So if I log into my setup at this point, all you'll see is if I click on right click and node, I see Fortinet, Cisco IOL. I have that image and I also have Fortinet, but I do not have any of the other images like an Arista, for example, or even, for example, an Aruba, or I also don't have any Linux or Juniper. Anything that is gray, that means it's not available. Anything that's in blue, that means it's available. So what's the next step? As I said already, the first step is to connect, which we did already. It's just that we have basically logged into our EVNG using default credentials, root slash EVE. You navigate to the folder. Left side was your folder. We got that up and running. And this is where all these images get stored. I've created a new folder and I've added the images onto it. Now, depending on whatever images I want to throw them down. One thing that you need to understand is you need to make sure that the file name itself, the folder name rather, I must say, should start with a certain naming convention. It has to be such a way that if it's not the same, then it will not work. Now, where do I get this information? So if you go back into your EVNG documentation, and if you go at UEMU image naming convention, this is where it tells you all that information. If you have an Aruba CX switch, one thing to remember is the folder name has to start with Aruba CX and then a dash. If I'm using a Cisco Catalyst 8000 virtual image, it has to start with C8000V and then a dash. Similarly, we had Fortinet, which we did before. And if you look at the Juniper ones or any other ones, Palo Alto, for example, let's say if you want to do a Palo Alto image, exactly same way. Okay. There is one more piece of information, which is also the file name itself, right? So if you go back on my desktop, and these are my images that I have here. So if you look at it, also what I've done is, for example, I was telling you about the Aruba image. So it has the same format, Aruba CX dash, and then you can have whatever. What I have done here is, or most people recommend here is, you can put the actual firmware version here. And the file name has to be this, right? This was also provided in that this is the file name. Once you've done all this, let's go back to our instructions here. You need to go and upload your images which is pretty straightforward. This is the images that you have on this side 
Fortinet is already there, so I will not bother doing that one. I already have the router switches, so I won't bother. Just throw them here. And it's going to go ahead and actually put those images into the EVNG Community Edition for you. So I'll let this upload quickly. I'm almost getting done here. And I have transferred everything. Now, the next step that you have to do is once you've done all that, is you need to do the fix permissions. So you've uploaded the images, rename QEMG image. This is something that we already did before. Uh, the, Im the image name was basically this part here, which we already did. Well, I like to do everything before. My folders that I have on my desktop here already have the right kind of names and right kind of folder names. So all that is already done for me. Once I've done all that, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my setup. And I have to run this file permission image that you see right here. So you right click on, uh, so I'm going to just hit the up arrow because it was already there. I hit enter. So every time you add an image to your setup, you need to run this fix permission command. So remember that. Once you've done that, let's go back to our setup. Let's test these images to see if they actually work, the one we just, so right click on the nodes. Let's do Arista here. We'll keep it default. Just add it and we'll start it. Just by simply doing that, I have an Arista switch up and running. Double click on the switch will give you my, the CLI and I can see it's booting up. Let's add Aruba here as well. By simply doing that, I have an Arista switch up and running and I have an Aruba switch up and running. And that's it, folks. Now you can seamlessly add QEMU images for your Aruba, Arista, Cisco, Linux, and many more, and host other vendors onto your EVNG Community Edition setup. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more in-depth networking virtualization tips. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.